today I'm going to teach you how to build one of the simplest yet strongest and most protective all-weather survival shelters. My name is Thomas Coyne, owner and chief instructor at Coyne Survival Schools, home to some of America's most realistic, real-world outdoor survival training. Once someone becomes injured or lost in the outdoors, the number one killer is outdoor exposure, being too hot or too cold for too long until you die. That is why it is critical to know how to build a shelter that will stop any weather. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to build the A-frame or tripod shelter. The A-frame or tripod shelter begins with a bed. The bed that you see here is meant for ground insulation to keep you off the cold ground. In most forests, we can simply rake piles of needles or leaves off of the ground. I'm gonna make sure I fit on this bed and then I will build the shelter over this bed and I'll know I'm building the shelter to the appropriate size for my body. I'm now gonna begin the tripod. This is a quick and easy process that requires no ties or gear. I have two sticks, one forked. I cross them about hip high and leaving them wide enough that my shoulders will fit inside. I then lean a third pole down. Now I have a tripod. If I have any slippage, I can dig a small hole to put the bottom of the tripod in or small rock for support. The next step in building the tripod shelter is placing your frame poles down. We need enough strong poles to go every 18 inches down the side of this shelter. You want to make sure that everything is at a 45 degree angle or steeper so that it sheds rain and snow appropriately. It's time to add the lattice work or small forked branches that we'll place all along this to make sure that our vegetation we're using as covering does not simply fall through. Now that we have the tripod, the frame, and all the lattice support work done, we're gonna go ahead and add on all the vegetation that we've covered. If you're able to gather piles of debris directly from the floor, forest floor, it requires no tools. It's the quickest and most effective. If not, you'll have to cut the most dominant vegetation. If we're using green vegetation, we apply it stem up to the shelter. If we're using debris, we simply grab the thickest densest piles we can, squeeze them together tight, and then place them down. We're gonna go along the whole bottom row and then overlap just like shingles on a roof so we get a cascading effect and it sheds the rain. Now many people wonder how thick the vegetation should be to make it waterproof. We apply our vegetation until we can see no light coming through from the outside. Once it's light proof, it's waterproof. Since it's all overlapped and locked in together, it just takes about five branches like this on each side to make sure that it doesn't blow away. Now, if it can hold my weight in one spot like this, it'll hold snow off or rain or anything like that. It's a very, very strong shelter. A shelter like this can take time that you don't have to build. Be sure when you go out in the outdoors, you have everything you need to spend the night without succumbing to exposure. Thank you for watching and more to come.